residents, it's Mayor Sullivan. Welcome to our 38th episode of Our Brockton. It's Saturday morning, I'm here at City Hall. Gonna be heading up to West Middle School in just a little while to meet our friends from the American Red Cross of Massachusetts. Uh, Barbara Cotton is the executive director. The Sound the Alarm program is going on where Red Cross uh, has partnered with the city of Brockton and also with Chief Brian Nardelli and Lieutenant Dan Santry of the Brockton Fire Department where today, and this is exciting, today volunteer uh, installers will be installing 42 different houses in the city of Brockton, free fire alarms and a smoke detector. A smoke carbon monoxide detector. So it's it's not fire alarm, sorry, it's smoke detectors. There's gonna be three of them per household and then one carbon monoxide detector. So it's really just an effort to save lives, right? And um, you also should recall that there should be a plan of escape from your house, right? In case there is a fire. But today the Red Cross, and I'm really excited to see the folks up there and Barbara Cotton is leading the charge. Uh, but I also wanna give a shout out to Lieutenant Dan Santry again, he has been unbelievable working with the Red Cross of Massachusetts and of course our great fire chief Brian Ardelli. So, um, you know, we will be talking to, to Barbara and Lieutenant Dan and the fire chief and some other people, but I'm just so excited. I'm glad you're uh, joining in on our 38th episode of Our Brockton. So uh, uh, sit back, relax and, and really be informed. Thank you. <laughs> the state of Massachusetts as part of our national campaign to make homes safer. My heartfelt gratitude really goes out today to all of our volunteers, really your dedication to the Red Cross mission and your commitment to making homes here safer in Brockton. Each year, the Red Cross in this country responds to 62,000 disasters. 60,000 of those are home fires. This past year in Brockton alone, the Brockton Fire Department responded to 469 calls. That's why we're sounding the alarm and we're installing free smoke alarms and offering safety education today. And I'd like to thank everyone to help make that happen today. National Grid is a longtime partner of the Red Cross and our statewide sponsor today, as well as Point 32 Health Education Foundation. Thank you to our local community partners whose support is absolutely integral to the success of this program. And that would be Boys and Girls Club, Brockton City uh, Council, I'm sorry, Brockton Council on Aging, Brockton City Council, absolutely. Brockton Community Access TV, Brockton Fire Department, Brockton Public Schools, can you tell I love Brockton? <laughs> the Cape Verdean Association, Father Bill's Mainspring, Old Colony Elder Services, the United Way of Greater Plymouth County, and the YMCA. And I'd like to extend a most special thank you to Mayor Sullivan, uh, Mayor of the City of Champions, for his most enthusiastic support and participation. Really, thank you, Mayor really and truly um, for your commitment to the city and to the citizens of Brockton in partnering with the Red Cross and really amplifying this event that so far has driven over 40 appointments to make homes safer today. And I'd like to invite you to come back. Thank you. So good morning everybody, I'm Bob Sullivan. Uh, my title is Mayor of Brockton, but I'm just a Brockton guy. And uh, what you're doing today in the City of Champions is a champion effort. Uh, I don't usually dress this way, but it's Keep Rockin' Beautiful Day, so we're cleaning up the parks around the city. Uh, I don't mind dressing this way. It's much better than the suit and ties every day. But um, on a serious note, I want to thank Chief Brian Ardelli and Lieutenant Dan Santry that have been running point on this with Barbara. Um, you know, this is a team effort. It's about collaboration. It's about thanking all of you for taking time out of your day. You don't have to do this today. You're dedicated volunteers because you want to make a difference, and in this case, you're going to make a difference in the city of Brockton. Brockton is not wealthy. Right? In terms of looking at the financial ledger, we don't have a lot of money. But what our assets are are the people. And so to be able to provide free smoke detectors is a game changer and a lifesaver. So I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't know where you're going, but those 40 houses are really something special for me as mayor because you're taking the time to go in there to help. And that's what the Red Cross has always done, always, always done. Now, Barbara and I went to Boston College together, and the Jesuits always taught, taught us to, to give back make a difference right don't be self selfish let's, let's let's just do the right thing and that's what you're doing today you're doing the right thing 
So as mayor and just as a dad of three kids, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Be safe out there today. And I really just want to say, and I'll let the chief say it from the fire department, I just want to say what you're doing today truly, truly, truly makes a difference. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very, very well said. And really and truly, we can't do sound the alarm and our home fire prevention work without the strong collaborative partnership of our local fire departments. And I'd like to give a huge shout out to the city of Brockton with a special thanks. Uh, I know he couldn't be here today, but Captain Rob Hendrigan from Station One, and Lieutenant Dan, thank you for being here. He's the public education officer from Station One. Absolutely outstanding. I wouldn't actually be in this building if it weren't for their help, so thank you. Uh, and Chief Ryan Nardelli, thank you for being here. I'd like to actually invite you to come on up and say a few words as well. He's a much better speaker than I am. <laughs> <laughs> but he's not a BC Eagle. That's what right. 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 Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Um, I can't thank you enough for being here. I think, you know, we call on you at the most difficult hours sometimes when we have to find housing for people at 3 a.m. when they've had the most tragic event that's gone on in their home. So in any way that we can help you today, um, help to spread that and get that out there to those 40 homes that you have is, is integral to, to, to everything we do in, 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 in saving, saving lives. Um, you're our partners in that. Um, you know, when I'm at a house at, like I said, 3 in the morning and, and, and you folks show up and you're able to give those people housing vouchers and be able to get them places. Well, let's start on the other side of that. You're putting smoke detectors in their houses today, which is huge, and that may save a life. And, and I think, you know, that speaks volumes to your organization, what you're volunteering to do. It's a day here in May. I'm sure everyone has a lot of other things going on in their lives, but for you to be here today is, is, really, is really instrumental to the public safety in the city of Brockton. So thank you. Thank you, Barbara, for organizing this. Thank you to everybody. Thank you. Thank you. And absolutely, to, uh, to the Chief's point, you know, today is just one day of 365 days of making homes safe. And so uh, Jensen had asked me earlier, you know, what are, you, what are your plans for the city of Brockton? Uh, is to continue to work with the community partners that helped us today, continue to strengthen those relationships, and really be here 365 days of the year. So fire prevention is absolutely part of that. So thank you again. Appreciate that. I also just want to recognize in the room um, board members. I have our board chair Kenneth McGuire and Kimberly House joining us today. So thank you very much for making that. So without further ado, really and truly, we're at the most exciting part of the program and the reason that we're here. Our volunteers really have come from far and wide to do the installations today, and I am really pleased to have with me today Senior Disaster Program Manager Ryan Avery, who is going to go over how to do some of the installs and some last minute. Perfect. Thank you. Awesome. So I think we've got uh, some last minute updates with Rhonda for some teams. So we'll make sure everyone knows what team they're going to be on. We've got all the supplies out in the parking lot. So the smoke alarms, drills, ladders. We'll make sure you have everything you need. Uh, you'll also get a route uh, for all the homes that you're going to be visiting. Give them a call ahead of time so that they know you'll be coming. Uh, we get a lot better. Sometimes people run out to the store. So just make sure they know you're coming. Uh, so it's three smoke alarms uh, per home, one carbon monoxide alarm. Uh, we've got some great quick reference guides that'll give some tips to the educator, uh, the documenter role, uh, and then working through the installation. So if you have any questions, we have uh, the language line uh, cards. If you need any uh, language translation support, on the back of that is Mark McLaughlin's phone number. He's going to be supporting uh, with some logistics. So if your drill dies, if you need more supplies, uh, reach out to him. Um, but Mark, anything else for the parking lot for picking up supplies? The, uh, there's toolkits in the parking lot and all the supplies. We have set it up for 16. So when you come out there, we'll answer any last minute questions you have. And we'll tell you what's in there real quick. And then you can hit the streets. Perfect. Sounds good. And then lunch plans. Uh, we'll be picking up lunch in just a little bit. We'll be delivering that out to you in the field. So we'll give you a call to see where you are uh, when lunch is ready. And we'll get that taken care of. Uh, so thank you again. Uh, we've had some successful events so far on Springfield. There's three events happening today here in Brockton, out in Worcester, and up in Methuen. So it is a busy day across the region. And uh, thank you so much for being here. Uh, I think we're good to go. Thank you so much. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you. You know, home fires affect two to three people every single day, and Brockton is no different. Uh, there's been an unprecedented number of fires this past year, really calling for the need for smoke alarms and carbon monoxide detectors.
Brockton Fire has partnered with American Red Cross since about early January with trying to identify some community uh, neighborhoods that were at risk, uh, needed some smoke detector help, and uh, so we met weekly with them and we sort of highlighted areas and we helped to be a conduit for them to the mayor's office as well as uh, helping to plan their event for today. So our goal today in the city of Brockton is to make 50 homes safer. The ultimate goal for today is just to help Brockton's uh, families. So if we can get as many smoke detectors into families' houses today, we'll make Brockton that much safer. And so Sound the Alarm is part of our national campaign, and it gets a lot of attention in the month of May. But really and truly, home preparedness and safety is an initiative of the Red Cross for an entire year. So anyone who's able to participate in this program today, fabulous. If not, it's a year-long program, and we come out and do the installations year-long. We, we have... You know, so many fires every year um, that, you know, you, you get concerned about people getting out of their homes. You want to make sure they're in a position to be alerted early before it becomes too dangerous. And, and if we can get, you know, along you know, with the Red Cross here, they're doing an incredible job. If the Red Cross can get a few more smoke detectors into homes to keep people safer, um, coming out here on a Saturday in the middle of May, volunteering their time, can't ask for more than that. Um, you know, who knows if, I mean, a lot of these people might not even be brought to residence. So be able to come here and help us protect our city. Nothing more you can ask for that.